What's up? This is HD News here. So, <clears throat> lately I had to go to the ISP for my area. This is Creative Commons, so don't worry. So, so you know, I actually have new way, but they they blocked me from using Google AdWords, and I had to go to a VPN in order to actually get to them. Critter's not doing that good as it should. This thing to virus is always the money right here, so should I say correctly? So you know, ISV's lately been blocking and my now offers unlimited data, but it's a forty dollar extra fee that should be technically in there for less than it already is and they're kind of pricey at times, and they recently fixed everything, I guess. So, yeah, I've been using uh, that, you know, what they call it, that 1111, you know, 1.1.1.1, you know, DNS. Works fine. The Xbox has no trouble. The Mac has no trouble. The PS4 Pro has no trouble. So, you know, things I understand, you know, it works. For the, you know, as a review as well, and I've been using it probably for a couple of months, or could have been more than that, for sure. But you know, this is the VPN right here. It's got all the countries in it. We go different servers right now in the U.S. So like my uh, ISP can't see what I'm browsing. It's encrypted. I that real IP is hidden. That's why I'm able to easily get into Google. AdWords, and usually when I have to do a test prior to each, you know, search or something like that, um, I can't connect without a VPN to Google AdWords account where I can actually search keywords and all that and do what I want basically on the Google platform. It blocks me, and I'm thinking it's New Wave. They are not a good company, and they'll be probably not telling the truth. Because I had the proof of it, I actually did it myself without recording or anything. But you know, a lot of ISPs can block. That's why net brutality uh, rules for the FCC were important to say, but they've been ripped out. And apparently, they're blocking websites, and they technically, if it's still in effect, they shouldn't have the right, and they shouldn't be doing it right now but by any guard for any reason. Is if it's still in place, the rules for the Chapter 2 protections for the regulation of the ISP's networks. They ain't supposed to do that. They ain't supposed to slow down, block, throttle, anything like that. And apparently this ISP is doing it. <clears throat> so I've been connected for four hours. So, you know, this is what I go through. So, with companies like, I don't have TV, but... It's fine. So, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Comment and like below right here. Share and like. Helps out a lot. I'm on a man. I've been like, okay, three minutes. I need more than that. So, you know, we hear about the wall and all that about Trump. I, I see it on Facebook a lot. I know it's not part of the video, but I put it in there. I hear it from, you know, family or, like, you know, friends from, like, six hours away in Kansas City, Missouri. Constant uh, Facebook links where it shows what's going good, what the budget jobs are going up. I keep looking to talk every day and then it's going up. You know, it's, we had thunderstorms this morning. I literally had to disconnect. It wasn't just regular. It was severe thunderstorms, like, two times. The first time lasted, like, an hour or so or more and then we had another wave of it come through this area and I had everything disconnected the Mac everything even the cable motor had no connection either way the network connections were taken off disconnected as well as the cable line that goes from the coax cable to the motor was disconnected as well as all the other ports all the other plugins for the TV is and all just unplugged completely. Everything in the house is pretty much unplugged except for the 
lights and the refrigerator. I mean the refrigerator and the microwave. Those are the only things that were plugged in. So luckily there wasn't any damage. Supposed to get down to like really low temps tonight. It was like 61 degrees and the winds are now coming out of the north. We're at a which started spreading ice melt across the road. So our city's preparing for, you know, for freeze tonight. It's going to freeze for sure. And I've I'm thinking if we have a warm March, which we probably will, we're going to have a lot of thunderstorms like this. And luckily, it was kind of too early for our tornado. Not quite there, but that whole entire thing went kind of upward towards Virginia and all those other states. It was kind of going upward. As it is from the south, that's what it usually does. And I think we had one a couple of years ago. It was like two months ago from December. It was like a couple of years ago as well. And it was like the day before Christmas Eve. And we had to go through our location to the state of Illinois. And that should not happen. Global warming is a fact. I mean, our, our Earth is heating up faster than you think. So, it's just how it is. I mean, we've been warm like lately. And we're going to get our cold blast for like a week or two. A lace and my birthday is gonna be kind of warm I guess to see how it is so yeah you got to prepare I was ready just in case unplugging things I think I might want to protect just in case you know stay inside the storms really went out quickly they didn't last as long they they were quick I mean I was trying to track another one but it turns out it it wasn't bad enough to have the alerts go off. It went away, so luckily some of those actually go around us and doesn't actually send any kind of alerts to us. Yeah, there's some other places around Perry County that are really bad on storms like that, but um, my city doesn't get that issue as much. I mean, they didn't get last year. We didn't have a train on this area. We're going to run around like Elkville probably, no, but Murphy probably had one here and had a tornado in March, so it's only about less than a month away or so, or a month, not really that really, until from last year, but that was a big storm, and we had the big May when it came through the entire Illinois and went upward, and that was a pretty <laughs> intense storm. That was probably the most intense one of the season and there was no train going towards my city at all. But it was getting close. But, you know, we still had no train signs going off. But, you know, it was just... We were lucky. We got the severe thunderstorms and the hail damage. And that's about it. It seemed like the wind and the train was farther away from the city. Luckily. So, you know, your prayer goes a far away when you pray to your Lord Jesus Christ. You know, things can divert and go a different direction. When they first didn't technically not go, but you know, it's at the prayer and the angels above to shift the wind directions the, the white way so then a certain sea doesn't get destroyed with a tornado or as not as bad. But most of the time, we don't get one anymore, it seems like. But the year could change. We could have one through here and pray we don't. You know, that's the thing I don't like. The alarms were going off this morning. Like, uh, then flood warning going off, and it flooded for like hours. So yeah, I know Chicago's like what was it around Christmas time? They had tornadoes up there. It's like oh, I'm glad I you know, we got we're gonna experience it in the next eight weeks for sure. Cause spring's coming. If the storms are gonna fire up from the south, and then it comes straight up through the United States to Illinois and. We'll see it for sure. Well, that's sort of developing in the golf, and they'll make them up the way up after a couple of weeks. It usually takes a while, a week or two of the travel, my air. But this storm went quick. It was done before I knew it. The second round of it. But it doesn't mean that. I mean, the last time we had something like that in May, we had one in October, I think. It was from the hurricane. Actually, we lost power for like eight or twelve hours, and. Walmart basically had to shut down our store 
temporary until, you know, we could get power back up. You know, everyone's trying to do their best, and that wasn't really a bad one. But that May one was the worst, and we luckily didn't lose power on that May storm we had coming in the evening. Because that was starting to look really bad towards north of town. You know, it's coming in from that way, and... Nashville had a tornado, I think, on that on that day. And a couple other cities as well. I remember it from back last summer. That was a bad one, I think. If I remember, I didn't see it, but, you know, it could have been a really bad one for sure. Because the lightning and everything was just there for one to be destined to be a bad storm. And that's what, you know... I haven't seen Oklahoma with tornadoes in the last 12 months. It's like, they're kind of like dead. Like, where's the tornadoes? You know, this is how it is. They're shifting to a different direction, I guess. Southward, eastward. Instead of Oklahoma City, where it's Tornado Alley. And they have all those storms going through all that land. But, I remember watching a video. I might ask them to link it in the, in the description if I can find it. Put it in. One of the worst trails you've ever seen in that location. That was just devastating how big it was. It's on camera as well. So just be storm ready for the springtime. I know it's scary and not good language, but you know, you gotta prepare for yourself. Have batteries, you know, non perishable foods, water, medicine, things like that when these storms do fire up in the next three months. Because they'll be the worst probably in May. April will be kind of. Technically still could be. But May is the most heaviest part. When the storms really start hitting. The state and other areas. So be prepared for. Whatever comes your in your way. You know in life. So thanks for watching. See ya.